Hey, hello, hello, hello. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, Jose, I hear you. Can you, can you okay. hear me? Yeah, can you? of course. Okay. All right, all right, perfect. Okay, he, hello, Jose. Uh, how are you doing today? Good? I'm uh, fine, very good. So good today. <laughs> okay, hey, you? perfect. Tell me. How uh, are a, you? Little, a little bit busy, but but great. Busy, but great. Thanks for asking. Okay. Good, good. Work at Excuse me? Do you, you do you work at teachers in another uh, site? Uh, no. no, only only online. I work only online, but I take uh, photographies at the university for oh, basketball uh, basketball matches. In this moment, only basketball. I take pictures for sounds the university. Good. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, Anna Cristina. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Anna Cristina? Great to see you online. All right, we are going to wait for Cristina to respond. Mercedes, hello, hello. Good morning, teacher. Uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you were trapped in the morning. Quedó atrapada in the morning. <laughs> Okay, uh, no problem. Good night. <laughs> uh, neither good night. Tampoco good night. Good evening. <laughs> yes, good evening. Yes, porque no good night, guys. Who knows the reason why in English? Porque no good night in English. Uh, because um, good night is just when we are to to sleep. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's correct. We say good night. When you leave at the place, when you leave the meeting, in this case, that's right. Okay, guys, it's already nine o'clock. We can leave. It. You are dismissed. Ya estamos despachados. In that moment, you can say good night because we leave. It. All right. But when you arrive, the opposite. When you arrive to a place or when you start the meeting, you have to say good evening. All right, that is the difference. In Spanish, no problem. All right, in Spanish is like that. Así es en español. Buenas noches, right? Cuando llegamos. Cuando nos vamos, adiós, buenas noches. The same thing. La misma cosa. But in English, it's different. Okay. Uh, Connie, hello, Connie, Erica, and uh, Gilbert. Hello, guys. How is the rain? In this moment where you live, how is the rain? Is it raining? It is raining. Oh, it's raining. Where, where do you live, uh, Gilbert? Where do you live? I live in San Antonio del Monte, Sonsonate. Ah, the coconut land as well. Okay. All right, Sonsonate, kind of far. All right, perfect. And you, Connie, where, where do you live? What place in San Salvador or El Salvador? Con it, yes, we hear you. Lo oímos. Where do you live, Connie? I live in Sonsonate, but right now it's, it's my work. Ah, you are at work. Ah, okay. Yes. Right. Okay, no problem then. Erika and you? What part in El Salvador do you live, Erika? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I live in Apopa, San Salvador. Ah, we, we are close. I live in a kilometer seven and a half in La Troquel. We are close, cerca. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, Jose and you? Um, I live in Ilopango City, sir. Ah, Ilopango. Okay, good. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, be very welcome to class number three. We are going to share the screen already for the content that we have for tonight. Guys, uh, are you checking the platform already? Are you checking, are you doing the assignments uh, in the platform already? 
¿Ya están haciendo los assignments? Mm. No, no, really. not yet, sir. No, not yet. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you gotta hurry, hurry up. Why, teacher? <laughs> Why do we have to hurry up? Guys, the first week, as you know, in the first week, you have to complete the section one and the section two for this week, okay? At most, a lo mucho, you have, at most, you have until Friday or Saturday in the morning to complete the two assignments, all right? How Please. section okay. is? How section we, we one and two. Complete. One and two. One and two, okay. All right, good. Section one and section two, all right? Okay. Only those two. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But you gotta hurry a little bit. Okay, guys, uh, you see the screen, yes? Yeah. I fit your screen. Okay. Yes, today, is, today is Wednesday. Hoy is Wednesday. Wednesday? No, today is no, no. Wednesday. Thursday. Ah, Thursday. that's right. Today is Thursdays. Thursday. Correct. Thursday. Thursday. The month. September. The month. September. September. And the calendar 28, 28. Yeah, the 28th. It's 28th. In the year 2023. 2023. Or 2000. 2023. 2023. Yeah, you have two options. No problem. With two options, you are okay. Okay, let's open class number three. Welcome. Let's advance. Today, we are not going to read the indications. Because I guess you remember, right? Your camera, uh, be on a quiet place, look for the concentration, be attentive, connect at eight, etc. I have no distractions, no Facebook, no Twitter, no TikTok. Okay, classes only one hour. We have to take the most of this hour. Hay que aprovechar la hora. And as you know, participation is always a lot important. Very good. Okay. Questions, you know, you can make your questions at any part during the class. Okay. And the four areas, speaking, listening, grammar, and practice, and the tools that we use. Okay. Very cool. In intermediate model two, question, very, very precise, very close, close question. Do? Do? Uh -huh. Do you exercise? No, I don't anymore. I'm, I, I miss that. I miss exercising. I don't exercise at this moment. And you guys, do you exercise? Jose? Uh, I, no, <laughs> I, I, I don't. Sorry, no. sir. I, I am a question <laughs> ah, you don't exercise. No, I don't. I don't have time to do exercise. Don't the time is a problem, right? The time we are busy yeah, yeah. all the yeah, time. Yeah, have time. Yeah, a lot of things to do, many activities, etc. Um, and Jacqueline and you, do you exercise, Jacqueline? Yes, I'm twenty minutes uh, in day. Okay, 20 minutes a day, a día, a day. All right, okay, that, that is something. Uh -huh. 20 minutes a day, very cool. Connie, and you? Hello, hello. hello. Okay. I'm Con continue in Spanish, por favor. <laughs> hello. hello, teacher. Sí, diga. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I'm really sorry. I had an issue with, with the computer, but I am back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, am I sharing? Do you see the screen? Yes. Yeah, we see. see. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Sorry, guys. This computer sometimes doesn't work as it should, como debería. But anyway, so we are, we are back. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. Do you exercise? Yes. Who goes to the gym? Who goes to the gym in the class? Who goes? Jesse, I, I have yes. an exercise. Uh huh. 
Or sa line edit, teacher. Uh, excuse me, uh, Gilbert, can you repeat it? Oh, I have an exercise line edit. Oh, okay. You are not exercising in this moment. JC? No, that's a... Yes, I do exercise. Okay. I, wow. uh, I go to the gym. Ah, okay. What gym do you go? What gym? Um, Nautilus Fitness Gym. Ah, okay. That is a famous gym. Correct. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, guys. Exercise is pretty important nowadays and forever. Okay. What exercises or sports do you practice? But maybe you don't exercise at the gym. Maybe you practice a sport. Do you practice I, any sport? Yes. I play football soccer when, when I'm uh, twice a month. Ah, all right. With your friends. You go with your friends and practice yeah. football. Of course. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Uh, let's see who else. Albert? Jacqueline, and you, Guillermo, any sport oh, that you like? Uh, I like, I like, I practice uh, <laughs> highball. <laughs> highball? Yeah. Highball, what is highball? What, what is this? Okay. Is, uh -huh. is what is sport? that sport? What is that sport? Can you explain? <laughs> I don't get it. Uh huh. What is that a sport? Highball. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> he he ah, drink. Oh, ah. you mean drinking? Ah, no, that is not a sport. No, but that is another sport. Joke. That is Joke not a sport. No, but I like. Uh, yes, I. Uh, I practice uh, basketball. Ah, okay. Basketball is good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, but uh, drinking something is not a sport, but sometimes we have competitions about that, but that is not a sport. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Okay, pretty cool. Good, guys. No Good. Uh, when we are talking about the exercise, when we talk about sports, we use a specific vocabulary. For example, in this table, if you see, you have... The title is, can you read the title? Fitness. Fitness vocabulary. Fitness vocabulary. Ten. Ten fitness vocabulary terms and phrases in English. Ah, okay, let's repeat uh, phrases. 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 Okay, phrases in English. Yes. Uh, for example, what is the first one? Workout. Workout. What is workout? Yeah. yeah, it is the same as exercise. That is the meaning. Exercise, but you can use this vocabulary. You can you can make the question. Hey, do you work out, guys? Do you work out? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah, you can use the vocabulary. See, not only do you exercise, exercise, exercise is too repetitive. You can use a special fitness vocabulary. Correct. Okay, uh, number two. Warm up. Warm up. Warm warm up. up. What warm is warm up? Calisthenia. Calentamiento. 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 Mm, but as a verb. As a verb is? Calentar. Ah, okay. As a noun. El que Calentamiento. Calentamiento. Okay. They are different. We have a verb and we have the noun. Hay un verbo y hay un noun, right? But we can use warm up warm. Is, is it important to warm up before working out is it important warm up working up uh huh work is caliente we, oh, before caliente. before working up uh huh before exercising yeah. is it I mean, important warm, warm up yeah warm yeah up. it's important you have to warm up first and then you can work out good Next, next uh, vocabulary. Cool down. Cool down. Cool down. Is... Cool down. Cool down. Uh -huh. is... Enfriar. Uh... Enfriar. Enfriarse, right? Okay. Yes, question. I hear someone saying, teacher. Teacher, uh, in Spanish, uh, yo estoy calentando. 
I warm. I warm. I am warming. I, I am warming. ing. Uh, I am warming. Warming up. Yes. Uh, excellent. Okay. Yeah, thank I you. am warming up. Uh, okay, that that's because uh, you are using uh, the present progressive, but the progressive is with the verb to be. Uh, it's con el verb to be. I am doing the lunch, I am cooking, I am sleeping, I am watching TV, etc. I am? Mm -hmm. Warming. I am warming. Warming up. I'm warming. Yes, I am warming up in, in this moment. Not working out. I'm just warming up. He is up. Wor warming up. Warming up. Warming All right. Up. Warming up. Okay. Okay, good. Cool Who's... down. Do you cool down Be after working out? Do you cool down? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. You cool slow down. down and you take a rest before going to the shower. It's important to cool down and free ourselves. Next. Jogging. 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 What is jogging? Jogging. Trotar. Trotar. And jogging. when you go faster, when you go faster, what is that? When you go faster, not jogging. Faster. Walking. Walking. Uh, okay, walking. Hiking. Walking. Hiking. Be after walking, even faster. Mm -hmm. huh? um, faster, faster, faster. Than run. run. Running, correct. Run. Yes. Okay. So we have jogging, trotar. Ah. Walking. Caminar. And running. Correct. Correct. And hiking, and hiking, sir? Uh, uh huh. Hiking. I don't know if you are. Ah, hiking. Listening. But yeah. hiking is hiking. That is a sport. Hiking. Uh, um, when you when you climb mountains and volcanoes, I guess yes, hiking. Okay. That is a sport. Okay. That okay, is a good. specific yes. sport. Yes. Okay. Good. And this one, oh, difficult for everyone. The yelling. Dieting, ah, dieting, dieting. Okay, let's use, let's use the tool. That's why it is important to use the tool. Check. Ah, but it doesn't appear. This is? Diet. 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 Okay, let's repeat. Diet. 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 Okay, similar, Diet. similar. Dieting. Dieting, correct. Dieting is? Dieta. 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 Uh, do you have any, any dieting at this moment? Do you have dieting? No. No. Not me. No. Nope. Uh, not in this moment. He's very okay. difficult teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's pretty difficult, even for me. I like eating. I like eating a lot of things, but dieting are uh, important as well, like sports. Okay. Next, about uh, fitness. Aerobics. 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 Okay, something Aerobics. that you can practice in your house, at the gym, etc. This is pretty general. Gym. Gym. Okay. Gym. gym. Or what is the, the complete word? Remember the complete word? The gym, gymnasium, I guess. Gymnasium. Like, the gymnasium, but the general word is gym. Sure, it's pretty short. Next, yoga, gym. yoga, yeah. and pilates. pilates uh, in English, pilates. Are you sure? Let's okay. see if we can find it. Uh, oh, no, 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 site maintenance. It means that the site is not working properly, but let's check. Let's check. Okay, here it is. Pilates. Ah, there it is. Pronunciation. Pilates. 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 Okay. Pilates. Ah, right. uh -huh, Pilates. Pilates. That's right. Pilates. Okay, that's why it's important to use a tool. See, you can improve your pronunciation checking this part. Uh -huh. This is grammar. And this is pronunciation. Pilates. Pilates. That's it. Okay. Next, uh, next vocabulary. Oh, what is this? Junk food. Junk food. Junk food. 
and healthy food. Healthy food. Uh, guys, what is the junk food that you like the most? Uh, Guillermo, McDonald's. what is the junk food that you like? I like McDonald's, teacher. Oh, you love McDonald's, McDonald's. okay? Yeah. Breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner. Whatever. Whatever, okay, whatever yeah. time. What about you, Jacqueline? What is the junk food that you like? Uh huh? Sometime and dinner. Uh, but what is the junk food? Uh, hot dogs, pizza, burgers, tacos, uh, tortas. Ah, uh, but pupusas? Are pupusas, <laughs> is pupusas junk food? No. Mm, kinda, right? Maybe. Yeah. He's not too healthy. No es demasiado healthy. That's right. Okay, very good. Be careful with the junk food. Be careful with that. Okay. And finally, we have? Gym instructor. Gym instructor. Correct. The person who helps you in the gym. Okay. Guys, this is pretty much a vocabulary about fitness. Let's see. Let's continue. Uh, as well, vocabulary, we have five. English five idioms, idioms about fitness and health. And health. Okay, let's see. Carmen, that is online. Hello, Carmen. What is the first idiom? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Repeat, please. I can you read the first idiom? Just read it. Okay. In bad shape. In bad shape. Carmen, are you are you in bad shape in this moment? Do you consider that you are in a bad shape? Carmen? Um, um <laughs> yes or no? I, I, ah. I, am, I am in bad shape, teacher. You are. Ah, okay, but you have the option to change that. Right, you have the decision to improve that. Uh, Connie, do you consider that you are in a bad shape? Are you in yes, a bad shape? You are? Yes, okay. I have, uh, two, two, I have two jars and only food, the ensalada, uh, verduras, no grasa. Uh, no, but in that case, it's the opposite. You are in a good shape. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you are eating uh, vegetables, uh -huh, vegetables uh, salads, food. that means that you are in a good, in a good shape. Yes. But this one is bad shape. Okay. Is, is it good for me? Uh, okay. It's better to be in good shape, not in bad shape. Okay. Good. Okay. The next idiom. What is the next idiom? Back. Back into shape. Back into Back shape. Back into shape. Ah, okay. We can relate the two uh, the two idioms. Podemos relacionar la primera y la segunda. Okay. What about uh, let's see, uh, Jose? Do you consider that you are in a bad shape, Jose? Jose, Jose. Hi. Hey. Sorry. Uh -huh. I'm on mute. All um, right. Do okay. you consider that you are in a bad shape in this moment? Okay, I will be considered that. <laughs> you. To you are. Yeah. Okay. Question for you. Would you like to be back into shape? Um, yeah. Yeah. How about I, you, I, say, you say, I would like. I would like by in into shape. To be back, ahí sería. To be back. Ya regresar, estar en. I would like to. Uh -huh. I would like. To be back. To be, correct, to be. Back. back. The idiom is, what is the idiom? Back. Into shape. Back correct. Into shape. Back into shape. shape. Regresar, regresar, estar en. I would like to be back into shape. Ah, correct. Okay. okay. That's good. That is something good. All right. Back into yeah. shape. ¿Qué es back into shape in English? The idiom. 
estar en mala forma. En mala. Regresar, regresar a buena forma, a una forma. Ah, ajá, regular, estar en forma, all right. <risa> okay. Estar en forma. Like a neutral, right? Neutral, it doesn't say <risa> bad or good. No dice mal o bien, but it's normal, normal shape. All right, next. Ah, uh, okay, this is a good one. The idiom is cast cast, cast, cast iron stomach. Cast iron is stomach. What is that? Stomach de hierro. Do you stomach have hierro. make the question? Do you have? Uh -huh. Make the question. Cast iron stomach. Do you have a cast, a cast iron stomach? Iron stomach? Um, no, I don't. I don't. No, I cannot eat everything. No puedo comer de todo. And you? Do you have a cast iron stomach, guys? Negative. Negative. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. What about yes, I do, you? <laughs> you do. Carmen, really? Yes, wow. teacher. Ah, that means that you can eat. Tortas, tacos, bupusas, yes. yuca, tamalitos, enchiladas, uh, <laughs> and that food doesn't affect you. No le afecta. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. That's good. And the rest, guys, and you? And the rest of you? You have a cast mm -hmm. in your stomach? No, mm, I don't. I don't. I don't. You don't. Okay, I don't have a cast iron stomach. No, I don't. Okay, very good. Next uh, idiom. The next idiom is full of beans. Full of beans. Oh, how do you feel? How do you feel today, guys? You can say full of beans. I. Uh, I feel. I feel full of I beans. I feel full of beans. Full of beans. Be I feel full it. of beans. No, don't beans. translate that. No lo traduzca. What about if you translate it? Ay. ¿Qué dice que se lo traducen? Uy, uy. Ajá. Pilas chistas. Ah, ah, ok. What is this in Spanish? Yo me, me siento, siento con un... energía. Ah, me siento lleno? con mucha energía. Uh, no. no. If translated Estoy muy lleno de frijoles. Estoy muy lleno de frijoles. Ah, you like, you like beans, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like. But in English, uh, it's not correct to translate literally. No se puede a veces traducir literalmente porque no es eso. Sounds good. Right? Sounds good. Yeah, it sounds kind of <laughs> weird. Suena raro, right? Okay. Full of beans means? Tener mucha energía. Tener mucha energía. Okay. To have, or the normal vocabulary. The normal vocabulary is? Drink a Red Bull. To have? To have Red Bull. To have Red Bull, no. <laughs> or Raptor. I had the other drink. Okay, good. To have a lot of? A lot of. Energy. Energy. But this is normal vocabulary. In some cases, you can Hello. use English idioms. Yes, you can use idioms to refer to this. Para referirse a the normal vocabulary. Okay. Uh, the last one. Get back. On your feet. Get back on your feet. Uh, what, is, what is get back on your feet? Recuperarse. Recuperarse. Any, <laughs> any illness. Okay. The normal verb is to, to recover. That is the normal. The, you can use the idiom. What is the idiom? Remember? Get huh? back. Get back. Get back. On your, on, your feet. Feet. On, on your feet. On your feet. On your feet. Como le pregunto a alguien, how do I make the question? Uh, or what can I say? Como puedo decir, ah, me alegra ver que te he recuperado. Mm -hmm. In English? Mm -hmm. Me alegra ver que ya estés de nuevo recuperado, etc. 
I feel you see on Ay. your feet. Ajá. Ahí I... estoy alegre, contento, right? I'm glad. I'm glad to see. To see. I'm I'm glad to see well, my, on your feet. To see well. Okay. Okay, but um, remember, the idiom has the verb get. To see, I'm, no. I'm, I'm glad, glad you are well. I'm you, glad to you well, got. Man. You got in past. Puede decirlo en pasado. Yes. Ah, I'm glad you got back, back on your feet. On your feet. feet. Ah, me alegro que te hayas o que estés uh -huh. de pie, de que te hayas recuperado. That is. That is the, the idiom in this case. You can use it or you can use, ah, I'm glad, I'm glad to see you uh, recovered. Estoy alegre de que esté recuperado. If you want to use this verb. But if not, you can use the idiom in this case. Okay, good. That is some vocabulary about English. Let's uh, continue with, with the next part. This is to practice, okay? This is only to practice, to have vocabulary and other expressions or phrases. Okay, next topic is questions how with how, how and short hours. Short Short hours. Answer. 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 Oh, answer. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's use the tool. Guys, if you have issues or doubts with pronunciation, please. Answer. You can use this tool. Answer. Let's see. Answer. What is the grammar? Answer. 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 Okay. Oh. This is the grammar. Pronunciation is different. Answer. 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 Okay. Do you pronounce Answer. the W? Do you pronounce the W? No. No. No, no teacher. No, we no. don't. All right. We don't. Okay. But if you don't place the W, si no le pone la W in a in a test or in exam, like this, is that correct? No. no, it's not correct. All right. In grammar is incorrect, but in pronunciation is fine. But you need to know the correct grammar and the correct pronunciation. For these cases, I prefer to use the tool. Important or not important to know the difference? Very important. Yes. Very important. Yes. In English, yes. Pronunciation is it's a lot of more important, important. correct. So we say, the simos, we say, we say answer. 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 Yes. answer, answer, that's it, very good. Okay, uh, questions with how short? Answer, short answer. Okay, answer, answer. answer. very cool. Okay, this is a speaking part, let's see it. Uh, Jacqueline, can you read uh, the first question, Jacqueline? How often do you work out? Uh, in this moment, I don't work out. I don't exercise. Uh, and you, let's see, uh, Ana Cristina or Oscar Guillermo, how often do you work out? Question one. Yes, I do. I I something uh, work up. Ah, okay, very good. I sometimes work out. Okay, very good. That's it. Remember, guys, that you can use time. Every day. Time, time. Every day. Expressions. Once a week. Correct. Yeah. 
twice a month. Twice a month, three times a year. Uh -huh. Not often, not much. On weekends only, pretty good. Not so good. Kind of good. Kind of good. Okay, this is informal. Más, más o menos. So, so. Kind of good. No, más o menos bien, right? Okay, but the question is, how often do you work out? Close or open question? Open. It's open, okay? How do you respond open questions? With time expressions or with frequency adverbs? How would you respond? ¿Cómo respondería? Both ways. You can do it both ways. Frequency. Both ways. De la okay. Okay. With frequency adverb, remember class, yesterday class, you can respond with frequency adverb or with time oh, expressions, but the order is a little bit different. Okay, but you have the two options. Good. Uh, let's see, Ana Lucia. The second question is. Hi, teacher. Okay. How Se well do you play basketball? Uh, how well? Guys, can you respond? How well do you play basketball? How well? How well? I what is the correct answer that you can give? Kind of good. Kind of good, más o menos. Bien, right? Kind of good. Not much. Not much. Okay, let's see. How well do you play basketball? Que también. How well? Que también. Uh-huh. Not. Not so good. Not so good. Correct. Not so good. That is one option that you can give. No, not so good, teacher. I am bad playing basketball. Good. Uh, question number three. How long do you spend at the gym? Uh, okay, for the ones who go to the gym. Erika, do you go to the gym uh, to work out? No, teacher, I nope. don't know. Okay, uh, Albert, do you work out at the gym? No, teacher. No? Okay, JC? No, JC, what about you? JC, Acosta? Uh, Guillermo? Yeah, teacher. How long do you go to the gym to work out? Uh, one hour. Uh, one hour. Okay, okay, because of the question, right? How long do you spend at the gym? Yeah, I I spend at the gym at one hour. Correct. Very good. Guys, remember, in your answers, subject, uh, the subject plus the verb and the complement. How long do you spend at the gym? Again, please. The answer, the answer, please. I... I spend. I spend because spend is the verb. Correct. I spend. I spend at, at the gym. At, at the gym. gym. A one hour. One. One hour. One hour. Okay, pretty good. That's it. Okay, this is the complete answer. That's it. Very good. That's great. Great. Okay, let's see another question. Do we have? Yes, we have this one. How how good are you are you at sport? Uh, which sport? Because here is singular. What is sport? Mm -hmm. what, what is sport? Because yeah, you are asking good. me. You that's are asking good. me. How good are you, that's teacher, good. at a sport? Which is sport? Which soccer, basketball. Uh, in football. Uh, I am I am kinda good in football. Okay, I am kinda good. Kinda good. Más o menos bien. Uh, how good are you, Anna, in tennis? Anna Cristina? How good are you playing tennis? <laughs> uh, 
Answer? Not so good. I'm not, not so good. So good. Can I'm you say, so I don't play tennis? Puede decir, I don't play tennis, yes or no? Because of I the question. Know. If you don't play sports, you can say, no, teacher, I don't play tennis. Yes, I am teacher good. is correct. It's correct. You can say it, right? If you don't practice that sport. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have uh, more material in this slide? Uh, okay, no. Questions about the words in, in orange, guys? Questions? This is the general. Can you read it? Mm -hmm. How often? How often? That is the general question, open question. You have the option to ask. How well? How well, How well for example, uh, do you drive, guys? Do you drive? Yeah, do you one. have a car? Or more? No, I drive a car. Okay, you drive a car. How well do you drive at night? How well do you drive at night? Are you terrible? Are you good driving at night? Very good, teacher. Ah, okay, that, that's good. Okay, very good. Next, this is How about long? period of how time, long? yes. How long? Make me a question uh, about how long. Make me a question using how long. You can make any question, not only about the sports, about game, etc. How long do you eat? How long, uh, how, long how long do you eat? How long do you watch TV? Okay, how long do you eat? Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo come? Mm. A hamburger. ¿Qué tanto tiempo te tarda en comer una hamburguesa? Ah, okay. If that is the question, you are missing something. Le hace falta algo si me pregunta. ¿Qué tanto te tarda en comer una hamburguesa? In English. Ajá. Uh -huh. The first part. How much time do you spend? Uh, no. When how much? How much time is not the correct, the correct one. The correct one is. How long how do long. you spend? How long? You have to begin with how long. Tiene que comenzar con. How long? Uh, do you spend? Do you? Do you eat an Eating. A burger. A burger. Or a burger, no problem. Ah, okay. How long do you spend? ¿Cuánto tiempo se pasa comiendo? O te no pasa, right? O te estás, etc. That's it. Eating a hamburger. <laughs> or the other option is, how long do you last? Last. Eat. What is last? ¿Qué es last? Último. But in a noun, as a noun, como noun, sí. Como verbo, as a verb. ¿Te tardas? Tardarse, correct. Yes, last, tardarse. Last eating uh, a burger. <coughs> okay, this is the way. Aquí está. How long do you last? Or how long, how long do you, do you take to eat? ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma, right? Convert hamburguesa. Okay, we have several options to make the question with how long. Okay. Teacher, how yes. long do you sleep at night? Oh, uh, let's see. I sleep seven hours. I guess seven, seven hours. And you guys, how long do you sleep during the night? Uh, I sleep uh, eight hours. Every, okay. every night. Yeah, that is the that is the normal, right? That the doctors tell you to sleep. Hey, you have to sleep eight hours. Correct. That's it. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Remember to practice these words, okay? So you can get used to them. Good. Let's continue with the next part. Ah, okay. Uh, in this part, we are going to review. Vamos a revisar, a repasar. Simple. Past. Question. Mm -hmm. With auxiliary did. With the auxiliary 
did okay did. you remember that did is the auxiliary for the simple past all right yeah. okay what is uh what is simple past action that, that ends the end or well finished in a specific time in the past in a specific time, time in the past okay we are going to focus on the past no present no future it's only about the past all right it says actions that ended or were <coughs> finished or were completed okay in a specific period of time in the past let's check this what is uh, the general rule to answer in the simple present simple past present perfect what is the general rule there, uh, the subject is first. Plus, the subject. Uh -huh. Subject. Verb. 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 And at the end, the uh, complement. complement. Yeah. In any tense, the rule is the same. In any tense. What is the question? Can you read it? What, what did you last last weekend? Okay, is the question correct or not correct? No correct. Ah, uh, why not? Why not? Because the eh, eh, no debe ir, ir, ir con el last. Um, no, my friend, that is not the answer. Check. There is missing something. Le falta algo ahí. There is something missing. Falta. Do, do. What do you do last weekend? Correct. Mm -hmm. What? Do you do what last do? weekend? Did you? Do. 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 Correct. Hey, why do? Por qué do? What's missing? Because it is a question. It is auxiliar. That's right. Yes. Because did is only the auxiliary, but I need a verb. I need a verb to make the question. What did you para do? Mm -hmm. What did para, you do? But I have a, a comment related with the weekend. It's not a weekend. Ah, okay. Okay. Como me dice teacher, le hace falta la N ahí. Yeah, I think, I think that, I don't know. If that is is week, um... Week, weekend. And, and. Uh -huh. Can you spell weekend? Can you spell weekend? Spell it. W-E-A-K-E-N-D. E-N-D. Correct. Weekend. Now it's correct. Okay. Now answer your, answer the question. What did you do last weekend? Do you remember the activity that you did last weekend? I visit my parent uh, outside the, the, the city of the San Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, and I rest in my home um, watching movies, watching TV. Um, okay. Um, on the... okay, that's right. Okay, very good. You have the good idea about the answer. Uh, someone else? What did you do? Guys, remember, this is the I don't remember, time. teacher. He, what happens? Uh, what happens with with your memory, Carmen? Last weekend. <laughs> last weekend. Uh -huh. I don't have memory, teacher. You don't. <laughs> ah, come on, come on. All right. Okay. Someone else. What do you do? do uh, let's see. Mercedes, Albert, Gilbert, uh, Guillermo. You can answer. Teacher, <clears throat> teacher, I visit my parents in the yes. weekend. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Only one, only one activity. Jacqueline, Jose? I went to the Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right, okay, cool, that's cool. The okay. last weekend, they visit my mother. You last weekend, you visit uh, your mother? Yes. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, pretty cool. Okay, notice this, notice this, nothing is to please. We are gonna check simple past did in 
Your answers were correct, but what happened? When you, respond, just... uh -huh. Uh -huh. when you respond in the simple past, check. The symbol is plus. 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 That is affirmative. What is the example? What did you do uh, last weekend? I went to a uh, concert. I went, I went to a concert. concert. Okay. What is the next example? I visited, I visited my sister. I visited my sister. That's right. Okay. What is the difference between went and visited? What is the difference? The verb. The El verb. verb. The verb. Besides the, the verb, verb, aparte del verbo, what else? What else is the difference? Ed. Okay. Mm -hmm. As number two is the regular, irregular and irregular verb. That's right. Correct. In the number one, I have an irregular verb. In the example number two is regular. What else is the difference? What else is the difference in these two verbs? Pronunciation, guys. Check. Went irregular, but in the regular. In the future. Visited, correct. In this part, you need to remember the simple past pronunciation of the regular verbs, all right? But we are gonna practice. Uh, in the negative, what is the example from, from this one? I went to the beach. I, won't. I didn't, I didn't go. go. Ah, I didn't. Correct, I didn't go to a concert. concert. Okay, notice that you have to use didn't for the negative because we are studying the simple past. Simple past sentences in negative, use? Didn't. Use didn't. didn't. Okay. Didn't. Okay, for the second, uh, the second example, what is the negative? I, I, I didn't visit see. my sister. I didn't visit my, my sister. sister. My sister, okay, check. The verb, no ed. No simple no, past no. for irregular. Right. Check. Normal verb. You don't have to worry about, about this. This is only for affirmative, but in the negative, negative. no problem because of didn't. Porque usa didn't, no pone ed or, or went or ate, etc. Normal verb. Question. Mm -hmm. Did I go to a concert? Did I did I do my homework? Did I go to a concert? Did I go? For example, okay. Did I go to a concert? You can make any type of question. Did I do the assignment uh, section one last night? Did I do it? La Did I do the? It's a question. No right. Uh -huh. I didn't do it. Well, no, I, I didn't. But you should, <laughs> you should do it. Debería. You should, you have to. Okay, uh, number two. Did you visit your Did sister? Did you visit your sister? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't visit. No, I didn't visit, I didn't visit my, sister. my sister. Okay, guys, in this moment, let's see, uh, five minutes. We have a few minutes yet. Okay. Give me examples in affirmative with the correct pronunciation, either irregular or regular verb. Let's begin with Connie. Connie, Connie, what did you do uh, last weekend or last Saturday or Sunday? I visited. No visited I... because this is the example, a different verb. A different verb. Change it. I... Uh -huh. Si I... dormió 10 horas. ¿Cómo digo <laughs> dormí 10 horas? I sleep in 10 hours. Ah, okay. Remember, simple past. <laughs> We are checking simple past. Dormí. Dormí in simple past? Sleep. Is, is I, 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 
I sleep. I slept. I sleep. I slept is the simple past of a sleep. Okay. Complete. How many hours did you sleep, Tony? Ten hours. Ah, okay. Ten hours. I slept. Ten hours. A lot of hours. Ten hours. Okay. Tony, what is the negative of this? I don't listen. I don't. I don't. Uh -huh. Sleeping. Sleeping. I don't sleep. Ten hours. Ten hours. Ten hours. Okay. Guys, is this correct or incorrect? Incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. It's incorrect, Tony. <laughs> Sorry. Follow, follow the example. I, I didn't. I, in this case, this I didn't sleep. Correct. Uh, ten hours. I didn't a sleep. A sleep. Normal. Norm. The verb is normal. Correct. Normal. Normal. That's right. Normal. Or I can say I didn't have time to I listen to my okay. sister. Thank you. Oh, okay, correct. That's it. In the question, did you sleep? In the question? Uh, did you? Did, did you? you? Yeah. Okay. Did you? Correct. Did you? Did you sleep. Sleep. Ten hours. Sleep. Ten hours. Ten hours. Uh, and the intonation, right? Don't forget the intonation uh, for questions because that is important when you speak in English. Okay, intonation for questions. That's right. Did, Did you just sleep ten hours? Uh -huh, correct. That's it. Like that. That's it. Okay, very good. Guys, the this class is already okay. Before we leave, check. It says this uh, extra material. material and activities. Activities. What do you have in this part? Get in a key. Uh, you have a grammar regular verb mm -hmm. list. Uh -huh. Una lista de verbos regulares para qué? For you to remember. All right. If you want to make sentences, si quieres hacer sentences using regular verbs, you can check the list with this link. Check. Uh, what is the simple past? Uh, the simple past for. Uh, for example, uh, argue, argue, pelear, discutir. Argue, simple past, ED. Check. Okay. ED, ED, because all of them are regular. Todos son regular. Teacher, what, what is the pronunciation of? Pronunciation for? For uh, the word that. Um, la que puso de ejemplo. Ah, the example. Which one? ¿Cuál? De, de la lista. Ah, from the list. Uh, from regular. the list. This one? Sí, sí. La de argued. Ah, okay. This one. Argued. 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 Okay. Argued. 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 Okay. What, Thank you, what can you do? All right. What can you do? ¿Qué puede hacer? In this one, it doesn't appear ED. Aquí no aparece with ED. Check. Mm -hmm. Only the normal. In the long man, you can, you can check this. In the second tool, and the other tool. Let's see. Argue, normal, a simple past. What is a simple past? Where is the pronunciation? Oh, it doesn't appear neither. Tampoco acá. Okay, but it's with D. Argue with D. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. No problem. Guys, remember, you can practice with the links. Check exercises, uh, listening exercises about simple past, etc. And you can complete the table with your activities. The activities that you did on your last weekend. Okay, the class is already uploading. Ya está subida. Check. Session number three. There it is. Okay. Is for you to download and practice with the links. With this table completed, 
Okay, complete the table. And the links are there. Ahí están los links. Okay, yeah. Just, just a question. Just the last question, yes. teacher. Okay, uh, what translator do you use or, or, do, or do you recommend? And what dictionary do you recommend in order to understand some, some words? Uh, what you are asking about what uh, tools or dictionaries I recommend? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What uh, translator, what, what dictionary? You can use these three, the three that are in this part. Those are the three that I use. Esos son los tres these shows. are free. Yeah, like it's Cambridge, Longmang, uh, and Google Translate at last the research. Okay, guys, if you if you want to leave, you are free to go. Good night, guys. And see you Good tomorrow. Night, sure. See you tomorrow. Guys, see you see you you I have a question. Okay, I kiss you, Sally, with ED. Argued. Oh. Argued. 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 Uh, Argued. Okay, um, yes. Yes, yes. Question. Uh, I, I can to... No pude estar en, la, en las primeras clases. Okay. Pero, eh, ¿cómo debería de hacer yo para poder verlas? Ah, okay, good, good, good. Um... People from uh, English Corporativo sent you in your email. A su correo le enviaron los accesos. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Pero es, estaba buscando ese drive, pero no, no ah, okay. lo tengo. El del drive se lo puedo pasar ahorita en el chat. Cópialo antes de que se desconecte. Lo okay. copia y lo guarda por ahí donde no se le pierda. Porque este es el oh. para después las presentaciones que uso de las clases y les comparto para ustedes, no hay problema ahí ok, thank right. you teacher en cuanto a thank dónde you. puedo ver las otras clases, revise su correo porque yes. les envíen todos los links ya sea de la plataforma de, de Zoom de la clase de mm -hmm. Zoom y ahí aparece uno que dice así como este uh, just let me show you déjeme mostrarle eh, uh, YouTube, aquí está, lista de reproducción YouTube, le tienen que enviar este link, ok, revise su correo, tienen que tenerlo, si no, se lo comparto. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I, think, I think that I have the, the link. Ok, ok, perfect. So, this is okay. the link. When you click on it, Good night. Aquí está. Thank you okay. for your Guys, my pleasure. See you tomorrow, Friday. Thank you. That's number four. You. Good bye night. Bye. We'll see good, good night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Good night. See you.